What's going on, my peeps? Welcome to the podcast, Two Guys Talking Booze. If you could even call it a podcast, <laughs> uh, we're a podcast with your Legit. with your boy Ricardo, with my boy Ricardo. Yes, they, they could be your boy too. Sure, you sure. could you could be their boy. And too. your favorite of the show, Danny. Danny. Daniel. Welcome to episode fifty. Welcome to episode 50, 50 man. 50. 50. 5-0. People think, people, people have to, start, have to start thinking that we're pretty crazy for keeping it up for 50 shows. Yeah. With zero return on investment. Return on investment. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people say that, you know, they perform or they act for the fans. We don't. <laughs> we, don't we don't do it for the fans or for the money. We do it. For the product, for the for the for the boost. Yeah, for the product. But we also, I mean, you had mentioned this a long time ago, <clears throat> that this these videos that we're posting on YouTube will live forever. Pretty crazy. So this is uh, immortality right here. How, how cool is that? Legacy. Legacy, man. So this is, you know, we like it. We we are. First of all, I just learned. I mean, we've always known he's artistic. This is an artistic expression. A podcast is an artistic expression. Yeah. Not everyone could do this. 100%. Right. Yeah, everybody, I think everybody could do it. I mean, pe people have asked me, hey, how you do with the camera? I'm like, dude, what camera? It's a phone. Yeah. Yeah. And the, I mean, yeah, it's but just fucking I fun. found out he is an artist. Like, he was showing me some drawings. Absolutely amazing. I was really impressed. So, really impressed. That, yeah. that I should have known you had these artistic tendencies because this is art. A podcast is art. It's not just, we're not just giving data. We're not just sitting here, da, 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 da. We're very entertaining. We're so funny. We're so funny. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> funny <laughs> looking. Um, <laughs> so, You're what are we nervous. doing on episode 50, man? What are we doing? We're doing the McAllen, McAllen 12. We are killing it, actually. We're killing Some, a bottle. Something I hate to do in, he front, hates of, doing it. in front of people that, uh, we appreciate it because they're gonna they're all gonna think that we're like oh you guys are getting just the last little bit we have a lot and of bottles coming up when, you, brand when new. you when you drink water and you know what the, the bottom of it is la babita <laughs> you, you guys are drinking la babita you're drinking like that bottom <clears throat> the bottom it is safe to say that no one has ever drank directly from this bottle are you sure about that positive the McAllen highland single malt scotch whiskey 12 year cherry oak cask cherry oak what did I say, cherry? You said cherry. Sherry, sherry oak cask. What's that? Bit? I just realized that. Like, what is that? Sherry is like a wine. Sherry? Yeah, sherry wine. So it's like a wine cask. So it's not made out of cherry? No. Sherry is, like, you're right, it's a good, good thing. Yeah, just sherry. I actually just <clears throat> saw it. Sherry wine is like a dessert wine, like a plum wine, like a port. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very sweet wine. A lot of people use it for cooking. So they use the, the sherry oaks for that. So that's cool. A great yeah. question. By the way, this is our fourth McAllen on this podcast. And we're gonna keep him coming. Episode one was the McAllen David Carson, concept number three. Sick, sick is McAllen. Incredible bottle. We started off with a bang. Episode 11 was the McAllen 18 double cask. Okay. The epitome of a perfect McAllen. Episode 37, we killed the oh, McAllen the aluminum. aluminum. The aluminum. He was the one he created. It was a little, little, little bit. This is a little bit. This is a good. We, and the Lumina is delicious. It's a, a cruise ship one that you find. So um, this is a standard. This is, you know, ideally, we talked about a gentleman's bar should have a Macallan 18. Every bar yeah. should have a Macallan 12. Yeah, of course. And it's a great gift. Like, honestly, if you're going to someone and you want to, like, bring something nice, uh, bring this bottle. Uh, Total Wine has it for $89.99. Wooden Cork dot com has it for seventy nine ninety seven and liquorstars.com has it for seventy nine ninety seven so it's an eighty dollar bottle it's a it's a nice bottle actually uh I used to drink when back in the day I used to drink black label. Okay. Sure. So that was kind of my go to because I perhaps didn't have the resources to go and buy myself a McAllen. Well but, 
it, it, the black have, label has evolved. What? Yeah, the was the bo the bottle that everyone drank in Miami. Yeah, at some point. It, it, it's, it's, was it a Miami thing? It was a Miami thing. It, like every every single mm. bar in Miami, black label, black label. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The McAllen hadn't come out, and the McAllen man, it, it's like like a cult, like the fanaticism. It's crazy. Yeah, but, but it's a, like a, like you said, it's it's a wave though. Like. It wasn't there before. No, no. So, but what, what, what's that though? What is that? What, it what started it? it was yeah, the was single malt, who, you know, thing. Who, who started importing it? I know. Or, who started the this? McAllen trend in the United States? Because uh, the McAllen since 1824. 1824, that's what I was gonna say. So this has been around 1824, and it only, it, it took almost a hundred years. Probably Let's say 200, more than a hundred years. No, 1824, oh yeah, 1920. So yeah. 200 years, yeah, my bad, it's not 1924. Yeah. So almost 200 yeah. years. For it up in the US. I know. Dude, and, and a lot of businesses think that, oh, in a year I'm not doing good, let me just drop out. How about waiting 200 years for it to start making some money? Boom. How about you have some patience? <laughs> That's the lesson. The How lesson and the two guys talking to this podcast. Tell you. Be patient. 200 years to get here. So, <laughs> McAllen means a lot to a lot of people. This day is synonymous, synonymous with two things. Quality Speyside whiskeys. Speyside is the location. Um, I have no idea what Speyside is. And also the fanaticism of the highest order. There is a frenzy, like you know how bourbon drinkers are so into bourbon yeah. and, and CrossFit people are so into CrossFit. Well, the the McCallum people like us are really into it. And whenever there's a new addition or something like that, it's like we dream of it. That that McCallum reach for five hundred thousand yeah. dollars. I mean, it's the most spectacular thing. But it's good. I mean, it it's not like a wave, like a like a bandwagony. Right, right, right. This is it's, quality. It's it's yeah, it's good whiskey. I mean, it's it's a little bit more expensive, but yeah. it's a little it's better. I Absolutely. mean, I find it better than the black label, so it deserves to be at a higher price point. I agree. So, I agree. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Yeah, I'm a bandwagon. I mean, if you want to call me a bandwagon, you know what I mean. Well, yeah, I well, we've been McAllen fans for a long time. You introduced me to McAllen, and I've, I've always liked it. It's fantastic. I mean, since 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 I tasted it for the first time, I'm like, oh man, this is this is another level. Yeah. I mean, he's the one that told me that McAllen 18 is three hundred dollars. So I'm like, let's try that. He got me hooked. So I, by the first McAllen that I had, that I have a recollection of, was a McAllen 18. So you can imagine. Yeah, you could imagine, dude, you started, you started up here, man. How much is the McAllen 18 again? It's like $400 now. Yeah, exactly. It was 300 back in the day. It, the McAllen has gone up in price so much because of the demand. Yeah. You know, so this is great. Let's try it. Let's, let's finish, it. let's kill this sherry. And now that you oh. talk about uh, price increases, this this is ba this is basically the one that I buy. Uh, actually, it's either the single this this is the single cast. Yeah, yeah. There's also the double. There's cast. a double cast. I have Which that. one is the blue the blue box? It's a black box. I think the, the, this is the black box. Black box. Yeah, exactly. So this black box one, the single cast. I remember buying it for sixty bucks. Mm, no, maybe like in the 70, 75, 74, 99. But you you will go to a liquor store right now and you could easily find them for ninety yeah. ninety five dollars. Sometimes. Yeah, McAllen so, is, is and is, it's a it's a two year price increase. Like it, after COVID, people were like, "Oh, COVID like affected this McAllen thing like crazy." I guess so. I mean, people were just locked up drinking whiskey. Yeah, exactly. So this is part of their sherry oak collection um, of single malt whiskeys matured in exceptional sherry seasoned oak cast from Jerez um, for richness and complexity. A matured character. It delivers rich wood spice and dried fruits and natural rich gold color. And that's what we're done. By the way, the other bottles that you and I have killed, the McAllen's, I've kept them. So this one, I kept them for our graveyard. I don't know why. I you, have, want to, you want to sign it? You want me to sign this? I can sign it. If you want me to sign it, I'll sign it. I want you to sign the other one too. The other, the Lumina. You could probably charge a lot for that after yeah, I sign it. Of course, once you sign it, you're famous. Look at this. So this. Um, this is the bottom of the barrel. So this, this, this tastes like this. You know what it looks like? Agua panela. It does look like that. Looks like agua panela. Don't tell me this is not. Agua like, panela is cinnamon. No, I guess cinnamon. Well, panela is panela. But what is it in English? Panela. 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 So uh, it's a Colombian thing. No, panela is uh, is uh, uh, sugar cane. Yeah. Kind of molasses like. Fuck, I think it's called Camilla, dude. And whatever. Alright, what look, but it looks just like this. And this is what they call a rich gold. I don't know, 
you can see that. It's so foggy. Yeah, it, it's uh, viscous and Vis thick and viscous. cloudy. Hibiscus? Hibiscus. Is that it, what it is? It's a plant. Um, so, to the nose, let's see. Hmm, it has a strong... Woody. Woody, perfumey smell, spouting from the glass like an old polish. You like how wood smells? I guess. I do like the wood. Yeah, absolutely. You like how the wood you smells? You like my wood. Steeped fruits, uh, soaked raisins, sultanas, oranges. Soaked raisins. Yeah. They're, they're, they're on point with that. Smell yeah. the raisins right now. One, two, three. You don't smell raisins? Yeah. Come I, on, man. I, I can identify that, yeah. But you could definitely identify in. It's, it's not yeah, bad. that's it's good. Very that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah. They said also some stewed apples and some festive baking spices such as cinnamon, ginger, cinnamon. clove, and nutmeg, which is oh, uh, that's what, not the nutmeg. Which is what I think is panella. The nutmeg. God, it's such a great flavor. Uh, Macallan. Macallan's just the cream of the crop. They're they're the great. So, um, cheers, cheers, brother. Cheers, man. Come on, man. Oh my gosh, McAllen, they just do it so great. It's surprisingly light body, mm -hmm. brings rich flavors with it. Dark chocolate and orange and those boozy fruits from the nose. Dark chocolate, yep. facts. You taste facts. it right on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on the stock. God, it's so stock. good. Um, there's a little taste of cherries. I feel like there's some, the cherries in there and um, again, the, the spices. So it's like, this is this is like Christmas in a class. So smooth, man. It is. It is surprisingly smooth. And the finish, the fruits fade away, right? They, they fade away, but the spicy tingle goes on, but it's not an overpowering spicy tingle. And yeah, it's like, co like cocaine, like when you have cocaine in your tongue. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like your tongue kind of gets numb. But what do you know? Huh? I wouldn't know. You, have, I've seen movies. Yes, I have seen, but... And they... they <laughs> and then, oh, it's numb, so that means it's pure. It's I know that um, the weekend did that song. I, I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Isn't that about cocaine? Is it? I don't know. I mean, it could be about anybody. It could be anything. So um, there's a a final dry oak flavor. That's like at the end is that dry oak that we love about this is crazy. nature. It's so good. I mean. Anyway, I, I want you to finish that because I have a surprise for you. True story. Come on. I don't like surprises. You're gonna love this one. Ready? All right. The surprise that I have for him. I'm going off camera. I'm over here. For those of you listening on Spotify, we're killing this bottle today. We are mm -hmm. killing this bottle. The episode one, David Carson goes down the hatch today. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Episode one, this bottle goes 15. for $500 to $1,500 because it is a collector's. We opened it on the show with my on boy. On our first episode, episode one, we started this podcast because of this bottle. And when I noticed that there was a little bit left, oh, I man. put it in the closet, hid it from my bar because with my man, we were going to kill it live on the show. On the 50th yeah, you know, show. You normally don't like killing bottles, but I this know. one you're not complaining. I am not. I don't know. Let me really empty this out. Mm. I'm already just taking, taking my time and just cleaning it out. <laughs> How weird with that we are, camera? We are ending the show on a high note. Oh, oh man. And you know what? I want to put the two bottles together and kind of do a comparison because I just noticed a, a nice little detail. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! This is another level. Yeah, I want to. I don't want to. I don't want to leave you with. I want you to have more. You're, I don't. You don't have to drive home. You're home. Look at <laughs> McAllen lover right here. This. Yeah. Bottle. I can't tell you. Can, can you see the legs on this thing? It's absolute. This thing has legs from like it's insane. So incredible. Comparison to the two bottles. In comparison to the two bottles. See this? I didn't even realize this. So this is David Carson's signature. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's the same bottle. bottle. Yeah, it's the same exact bottle. It's have a different label. Yeah, just uh, yeah. Obviously, different labeling. Uh, this yellow mark on yeah. top. Everything is exactly the same. It's how incredible. 
I just kind of never really like compared. I never did that either. Side to side, the logo mostly. Yeah, this is a lot more modern. You know, this is the classic McAllen and then the David Carson, uh, the master of the the the, the, the grunge art. The grunge art. By the way, David Carson. Whenever we do a story and we tag him, he puts it on his, and he's got hundred thousand followers. The guy is so cool. He likes our stuff. Whenever when we mention his, his incredible contributions to McCallum, oh. so with that, cheers, my brother. Cheers, brother. Oh, surprise! Man, this is, this is I don't like surprises. Surprise. And it's not so. It's not as cloudy as no, the no, other no. One, this right? is something else. This is something else. This is a treat. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh my. God. Yeah, man, this is so good. Oh. Yeah, you sound like, dude. If for you guys listening on Spotify, he, yeah, he's just he's just tasting and he likes it. But this is sound like you're it's another it. level. This is such it's another so good, level. Man. This is great. I mean, McAllen's Mercedes and this is the Maybach of the Mercedes. This the is Maybach that will be that. That's the thing. I mean, five hundred dollars. I'm. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for a bottle. For just something that you're gonna drink, like you could just. But it lasted a year. It lasted a year because I got it in Colombia in May, and now you know we're in July. Actually, you know, a good 14 months, 15 months. Fantastic, huh? So good. So oh. good. While we're enjoying this, thank you for joining us for awesome. 50 episodes of the two guys. That's a, that's an anniversary. Oof. Oof. Fireworks, yeah, you could, there's, I, fire, there's fireworks. That feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid for the fireworks. Yeah, all right, I'll, figure, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out how to put it on video. So, um, <laughs> thank you for joining us for the 50, and for the next 50, if we make it, if we survive. The next 100 and 200. Next 100 and 200. We, were up to two, we wanted to do 2,000 like Joe Rogan, right? You know what you said? You said that? I said, no, I said that he's done it. I mean, yeah. I never said that we would get there. I mean, yeah. but I never thought, then again, I never thought we'd get to 50. 50. So I thought this was a great way to end 50. Yeah, this is an amazing way. No, I can't wait to see how we're gonna end the 100. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Yeah, man, it's great. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm. Ah, so good.